Hello friends, welcome back in this session. So in this session, basically we are going to understand the uh, one of the Python interview question, which is the most common interview question, and uh, it is the Fibonacci sequence to print. So normally interviews are asking the same question every time. So we will see the how we can achieve with the very easy manner, and we can impress the our interviewer. So let's start. Uh, so I'm just opening a. Uh, code bank here so I'm creating new code bank here uh, just giving the Python test name here okay I, we have the new code bank here okay so let's try to create a code uh, which basically prints a Fibonacci sequence so Fibonacci sequence first try to understand what is a Fibonacci sequence so for example we want to understand the Fibonacci sequence uh, till uh, number 7 so we will see the 0 to 7 the uh, Fibonacci sequence so if you see this 0 is the first iteration then it come for 1 and then you will see the 0 plus 1 is the 1 that's previous sum now 1 plus 1 is the 2 now 2 plus 1 is the 3 then 3 plus 2 is the 5 and 5 plus 3 is 8 so if you see still 7 it will come to till 5 only and similar if you want to increase the number till 10 you can see the uh, further sum so 5 plus 8 is the 13 something so this is a sequence we will go with the iteration we will put the sum of the next result so we have the result is a 0 plus 1 is the 1 that's a result of the previous sum then we will do the next iteration pick the value and we'll do the sum so let's try to understand uh, the python code uh, let's write the python code here so we will go for the very easy example will not go for the very complex so i'm taking here the uh, number that's input uh, number input count so till what number you want to execute let's give the 10 here then we'll take the two number one is a a one is a b and we'll give the value for a uh, 0 and b is a 1 and we'll take the one more variable which is the count for the iteration which is a 0 now let's print the uh, sequence of the Fibonacci so I'm just printing the message here so print uh, Fibonacci sequence okay now we'll start our logic here so we'll do the while condition here which is very easy here so while count less than input count this means it will try to increment the count till the input count this loop will be executed for example input count we have taken 10 and the count is 0 so it will pass the condition and it will go for the next execution if the count value is 10 and the input count is a 10 then it will come out from this loop let's print a here okay now a means 0 only so the first value is a 0 now we'll uh, do the sum so Fibonacci sum let's give the sum different Fibo sum so we'll, what I'll do I'll do a plus b so what is the value a, a 0 plus b it's a value 1 so it will be 1 only now we will try to replace a value of b with a so b value is a 1 so b equal to uh, sorry b with a means b a equal to b so we are replacing the b value with a so here i'm replacing the value b equal to uh, a equal to b okay now we have changed the value of b so b value is a 1 now we given the same value to the a now again we have to change b value what the output of the previous sum so what is the output of the previous sum is the fibo sum so we'll use the value of fibo sum and we'll passing the same value to the b 
okay i think this is the core logic of the fibonacci series now we will increase the count value plus 1 okay so it will print a 0 then fibo sum 0 plus 1 is 1 then a value equal to b so it is again 1 now b value equal to the previous sum which is the 1 so in next iteration it will do 1 plus 1 is a 2 then 2 is the answer we will do the same replacement of the sum output the next iteration so if you see it will print the actual Fibonacci series let's run this logic so if you see it is printed here let me do a bit zoom here so 0 1 then 0 plus 1 is the 1 then 1 plus 1 is the 2 then 2 plus 1 is the 3 then 3 plus 2 is the 5 8 13 21 and 34 so it will print 10 count of the Fibonacci series see it will print 20 count so this is one of the easiest logic for the Fibonacci series print using the Python. We will go for some more example with a different method to print the Fibonacci sequence in coming session.